night. Any coincidence that you have a spectacular night, bobblehead night for you? Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence, but I really wanted to spike it. But at this point, because obviously I'm growing it out, so yeah. it's getting taller and taller. Um, it's just the Mohawk's dead. Aww. The Mohawk is dead. Well, that's all right. It's all right because you guys have been winning. The streak continues tonight. You played against another one of your former teams. They were starting to hit their stride before they walked into this building. We saw a little glimpse of it in the second quarter, but somehow, fourth quarter, you guys continue to pull away. How do you do it? Um, you know, I think we got stops, and I think we got a lot of 50-50 balls, um, you know, offensive rebounds, deflections, things like that. And those trigger for us a lot of open shots. You know, Frank hit it open three, Troy hit it open three, Kemba had a nice layup in transition. And when we string those together in the fourth quarter and we lock in from the defensive end, I mean, um, you know, it, it's, it's tough for a team if we have the lead for them to continually try to fight back. Have you ever been a part of a team at this level that is so unselfish? At this level, no. At this level, no. This reminds me of my high school team in a lot of ways. Um, you know, uh, you, you, in high school, there isn't the money or the yeah. fame or any of that stuff. And um, I mean, this team right here is very unselfish. We move the ball so much and, and uh, you know, you can't really fake, uh, you know, celebrations. Yeah. To some degree you can, but when you see something authentic and sincere, you, you know, you recognize it. And these guys, you know, all of us were legitimately rooting for each other and we can all tell that and it is a joy for us to watch now something that was not as joyful to watch this evening was the individual pushing that we saw with Jason Terry and you a couple <laughs> of different instances we actually showed the replay he actually pushed you what is there something there that we're not aware of uh, I, I don't know. I asked him after. I was like, you good? Um, you know, I think he was just trying to come and be physical and get in my head. But, um, you know, I'm I'm six years in and, um, you know, that stuff is I'm not worried about that stuff. Just I just I just try to play the game. Let my my you know, my game speak for itself. And I'm not going to get, you know, caught up in, you know, the the uh, other stuff. Right. And you could tell there was a point they called a timeout because you all had been on a run and they came right out. A couple of quick fouls. You could tell they were trying to get more physical. And, and we yeah. kind of joked about it on our broadcast and say, you guys don't mind that one bit, did you? No, I mean, you know, for us, that's fine. Just put us in the penalty. Yeah. You know, you know, we, we like going to the free throw line. So, um, you know, if teams want to come out and, and foul us, uh, that, we love that. Yeah. Now, before Eric and Dell tossed it to us, you and I were talking about how much fun that game was. Yeah. Explain that to the fans at home. Um, well, first off, you know, if you think about, if I think about the loudest moments that I've personally experienced in this arena, tonight has to be the top or up there. Um, I mean, it has to be. Uh, the, the atmosphere is electric, and so that's a shout out to the fans. And then uh, the way we played, um, the way we strung together a nice run in the fourth quarter, that was just such a fun part, uh, fun game to be a part of. You saw a lot of different guys contributing in different ways. I mean, every all five guys on the floor, you know, made some type of play to help you know push it out and and uh you know we're just we're just playing good basketball right now you are and it is a lot of fun even for us to watch another sellout crowd fans at home you got to get in the building if it's not too late jeremy thanks for stopping thank you